Hey ladies and gents, assalamu alaikum. This is Jennifer Latifa, and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm bringing to you uh, the entire Encounter Sense line, five for him, five for her. And Encounter Sense is uh, basically the sister house of Dua Fragrances. And these are all originals in this uh house as to where Dua Fragrances does like mixes of things and it also does impressions of things and concept series and all kinds of stuff like that but tonight we finally have from uh Mr. Raza himself all originals and the originals that I've had in Dua Fragrances are amazing so I've already smelled these I went to a sniffing party when they were uh pre-released and so I already have some experience with them but um, I'm going to be reading notes tonight and giving you my opinions and my second opinion and third opinions because I was already messing with him all day today so we're gonna do one guy one girl so I won't do like all in a row like I see mostly other people doing I'll do I'll mix it up Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk to you about is Compliment for Him. And these are 3.4 uh, Extrait Eau de Parfum. And they're really awesome with the little cork lid. And you will see the sprayer soon in the bottle. Very simple and beautiful. Okay, so compliment for him has no it's a woody aromatic fragrance it's got aquatic notes grapefruit pear bergamot apple juniper berries ginger alabdanum amberwood and white musk i don't remember which one was my favorite man's at the party so you can see the spray and the spray works really good and this one is beautiful and these are so beast mode, so my entire room is just smelling amazing. This is definitely uh, a compliment getter. I mean, it's definitely, you know, um, named correctly because this will get you some compliments for sure. It's beast, you can smell it, it smells a little fresh. Let's tell, let me tell you what I am smelling. I smell, it's, it's a little aquatic, it's nothing, if you don't like aquatic fragrances, I don't think you would be afraid of this one because I think you would like it anyway. And I get the bergamot, the apple, the berries, the ginger, and musk. I'm definitely smelling musk and amberwood. I pretty much smell all the notes perfectly blended and it's definitely woody and aromatic. I love aromatic fragrances just because they really linger, you know? And they just are beautiful so I really love that one now we're going to talk about compliment for her and so let's look at the bottle side by side we got compliment for him compliment for her okay I like that with the the blue and the pink excuse me why am I flip it upside down I don't even need to spray it twice. I need to just spray it once because it's going to overwhelm me with two sprays because they're really, really beast. Okay, so let's talk notes on compliment for her. This is a floral fragrance. It's peach, mandarin orange, lemon, apricot, pink peony, heliotrope, cashmere, caramel, tonka beans, and white musk. Wow, just think about those notes, right? Mmm. It's beautiful. This one is beautiful. I love it. So you can definitely smell the peach and the lemon and the apricot. The apricot is a little strong in this one. And the pink peony and the heliotrope. And I love heliotrope with the cashmere and, and the caramel and the tonka beans and the white musk. I smell it all. Oh, wow. It's soft, but beast. And I really like this one. This one's very feminine, very feminine. I love it. 
Okay, the next one is confidence for him. And this is a woody spicy fragrance. It's got grapefruit, lemon, ginger, lavender, vetiver, patchouli, sandalwood, benzoin, tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and white musk. I'm so excited smelling each one again because it's like there's so many that you know just more I need more familiar to get more familiar with them because like at the party the thing you know the card was just kind of like floating around the paper was floating around this one's really beautiful uh, it's fresh it's spicy, definitely. I smell the grapefruit and the lemon and the ginger. And then the lavender, the vetiver. The patchouli is not like a harsh patchouli. It's there, but it's not harsh. And the benzoin's pretty strong in this. I love that. I smell the um, uh, vanilla and the amber and the white musk as well. It's beautiful. I like this one. It's good for a guy you know it's beast too i can tell that one will uh <laughs> get you a lot of compliments too all right so the next one is confidence for her and confidence for her has notes of water it's a floral aquatic it's got water notes, mandarin orange, lemon, black currant, lychee, jasmine, magnolia, ylang ylang, amber, and white musk. My nose got a little tickle. <laughs> Happens often, actually. I love the sprayer. It really, honestly, projects the juice, that's for sure. You could probably stand three feet away and it still hits you. It's a powerful uh, atomizer. This one's really pretty. It smells very unique. This one smells very niche. Mm. Okay, so confidence for her has notes. Uh, like I said, it's a floral aquatic with water notes, mandarin, orange, lemon, black currant, lychee, jasmine, ylang ylang, amber and white musk okay so this one this one it has i can smell it's watery and it's citrusy and i can smell the lychee and the black currant the jasmine I smell pretty much all the notes here again. It's very beautiful. I really love this one too. It's definitely that floral again, like how encounter for, um, I mean, excuse me, compliment for her was and confidence for her. They're both like a floral type fragrance and they're beautiful. Okay, so the next one is this one is really popular as i'm noticing mostly everybody's really liking it as one of the best ones and this one is in the club for him and it's my favorite color purple can't go wrong with purple this one's a beast and i already remember this one. Oh, it smells good so the notes are, it's an oriental forge. It's pear, lavender, mint, blood, mandarin, cinnamon, sage, tobacco, myrrh, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and white musk. Ooh, I love the mint in this. It's like just a little touch of mint. I really like this one a lot. The more that I got to sit with it, the more attached to it I got too. It wasn't my favorite in the, the beginning, but I'll tell you which one is my favorite male. Well, I already know which one my favorite male scent is, but I can tell you, you know, what, what my favorites are. 
Um, okay, the next one is in the club for her. And this one has notes of, it's a, flu, a, fr, a fruity, what, what? A fruity floral with ca cassis, freesia, rose, pear, coffee, pink pepper, orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, patchouli, cedar, woody notes, and white musk. Ooh, always these good notes. Hopefully you, you wish it'll stand up to it, right? And they do. I hate it when I see great notes on a fragrance and then I don't like it. Oh, this one's so good. It's like a fruity, definitely. I mean, the fruity floral. And I can smell the freesia and the pear. The pear is strong on this one, but it's not like a pear and labelle or something like that. It's like a fresh, juicy pear. I smell the coffee very little bit in the background. It's like making it softer. Oh, it's beautiful. I smell the cedar and the orange blossom. I really like this one a lot. I love it actually. Okay, the next one is, this one is my favorite from the house you guys and it's my favorite it's like my favorite perfume right now no joke I'm not even joking like I smelled it at the party and then I like couldn't stop thinking about this fragrance and then I was reviewing House of Siage and when I smelled Whispers of Truth I was like oh my gosh it smells like it and you guys know I love House of Siage so I bought the bottle of the whispers of truth because I was like, I have to compare it when it comes anyways, in which I will do. So stay tuned for that video because you get to see if the, there is any differences and what they are. Um, but yeah, so this one is called romantic for him. And oh my gosh, I am like in love with this fragrance. I'm not even joking. I want to wear it every day. It's an oriental spicy fragrance with bergamot, coriander, cardamom, orange, jasmine, rose, taget, magnolia, saffron, cedarwood, oak moss, toffee, and white musk. Also, I had seen Redolescence had said that he thought it smelled like Baccarat Rouge, which I, I guess I can, it's not like those everything that is trying to impersonate it's not not at all i mean there's like an element that's similar i mean obviously um it's probably the saffron that makes it smell similar but it's not similar at all actually <laughs> it's really not this is so good i'm telling you right now it's divine it's my favorite in my whole collection guys i'm not just talking about dua or encounter or all my collection and you guys know i got a big collection alhamdulillah and i'm telling you right now this is my favorite perfume right now oh i love it so much i was just like oh you know the cedar wood and the saffron and the oak moss and the coriander and the cardamom with the white musk. Oh, it couldn't be more perfect to put it as a white musk to soften it up. And that white musk is so good. Like seriously, this takes me on other journeys of life, honestly. Wow, I adore this fragrance. Sorry, I keep going on and on about it, but it's just the truth. I speak the truth, guys. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna to talk to you about is Romantic for Her. This is one of my favorite from the woman's house. I, I'm i gonna smell and see which one exactly, but I remember that this was one of them. And so this is an Oriental Vanilla, which is my favorite kind of fragrance. And it's got cotton candy, sponge sugar, whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, saffron, Jasmine, amber, fur resin, 
cedar and white musk. Oh, I love how they like put the saffron in this one too and the white musk and the way they kind of made them like a little date together. Like the guy wears and the girl wears, but no, honestly, uh, for him is totally unisex. Romantic for him is totally unisex. Whereas like the first one, like compliment for him and confidence for him, those are masculine. This one smells like, wow. It smells like something that is familiar to me and no, it's not Aqualina pink sugar guys. I don't know, people have been asking me that, it's not. This one is just so good. It's sweet and it reminds me kind of like back in the, you know, early 2000s when I would be going to the fair and the cotton candy and the nightlife there. Just, it's so beautiful and it's soft and elegant. And this could be a signature scent. It's not offensive at all whatsoever. It's beautiful. I love it. I smell the cotton candy and the sponge sugar and whipped cream, vanilla ice cream. The saffron just gives it a tinge like of spice, but not really. It's like something that makes it like the nightlife and jasmine and the resins and the cedar and the white musk and the amber. I smell it all. It's so good. It's so good. I think this one is my favorite for women, but I remember also that I liked this last one I'm going to show you. Well, first I'm going to show you seduct Seduction from him. And sorry, I'm just navigating the website. And on Seduction for him, it is an aromatic forge with notes of melon, lemon, roasted tonka beans, cardamom, pink pepper, cinnamon, cedar wood, fiery chestnut, amber wood, and white musk. I think this one was originally my favorite, uh, second favorite man scent. Second favorite. No, confidence I think was. Confidence for him was, but this one is really good too. Oh, wait a minute, maybe this one was that. Gosh, this one is really good. Yeah, this one was my favorite, I think, for men after, obviously, romantic for him. I smell the melon and the lemon is light. And the tonka beans roasted ones and cardamom and cinnamon and the fiery chestnut is prominent here with the white musk and the amberwood. I smell them all. This one is really good. Like it's the type that you just want to like nuzzle your nose deeper into it, you know? So good. And I'm not saying that because it's not beast mode because these are all like straight and they are strong. They're gonna last all day. Beautiful. Okay, the last one is seduction for her. Now I think that this one was the other one that was comparable for her, um, for my favorite one with romantic. Let me remember. This one's beautiful too. So, really super beautiful. <laughs> now I read all the feels. Mm. It's an or floral oriental. It's floral bouquet, peony, rose, magnolia, violet leaf, iris, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, and white musk. You can smell that floral bouquet because I do smell some tuberose in this but it doesn't say tuberose, but I smell it. And the peony and the rose, um, not so much on a rose. A little bit, I guess. Magnolia, the violet leaf is prominent. The iris is prominent. The patchouli is not prominent in this one, even though there is patchouli in here, but the patchoulis are not dirty hippie patchoulis in this range from everything that I've smelled that has said that there was a patchouli. I smell the tonka bean and the vanilla and the white musk and it's beautiful. So let me go back and smell that. 
romantic for her. Okay, romantic for her is my favorite for the woman and romantic for him is my favorite for the man. And winners for me, I love these two, honestly. They're like a match made in heaven. So I hope that you liked the video. Please, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll leave the website down below too. And um, make sure you take up on the coupon codes that'll be listed up at the top of the website. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay blessed.